Hello and welcome to Studio Classroom on the Air. My name is Gabe and I know your English will improve today. Thank you for joining us here. Now, have you ever been to Switzerland? What comes to your mind when you think of Switzerland? Well, I think of Swiss army knives. Um, oh, delicious chocolate. Yes, Swiss chocolate is very famous. And of course, the majestic Alps. The title of today's lesson is Lucerne, Switzerland. Lucerne, Switzerland. And here's a question for you to think about. What features 17th century paintings on ceiling panels? What features 17th century paintings on ceiling panels? You're going to hear this question again in the SC Challenge. Well, friends, what are we waiting for? Let's go to Switzerland. Kind of. Lucerne, Switzerland. A charming city that pleases the eyes and ears. Picture yourself standing by a sparkling lake, climbing a mountain or crossing a medieval covered bridge. Imagine hearing orchestra music float out of an open window or attending a concert at a fashionable new convention center. People can experience all of these pleasures in Lucerne, Switzerland. Medieval and Modern Lucerne's 14th century chapel bridge features 17th century paintings on ceiling panels, which show scenes from the city's history. The bridge was named after St. Peter's Chapel, a small church that stands nearby. Hi everyone, welcome to Language Lab. 这篇文章的第一个重点，我们看 Convention Center 这个名词。Convention 是指大型的会议，例如 The Party's Convention will be held next Saturday in Washington D.C. 党务大会会在下周六于华盛顿特区举行，或者是 This famous author will have a book signing session at the book convention next week. 这位知名作家会在下周的书展中会有签名会。Convention center 就是指会议中心。例如 ，the event will be held at the International Convention Center in Sydney. 这个活动会在雪梨国际会议中心举办。接下来我们看的是 panel 这个名词。Panel 在这里是指箱板、壁板、门板或者是镜板。例如 ，the door panels are made of maple. 这个门上镶嵌的板子是用枫木做的。或者是 the central panel of the glass wall is a picture of Jesus and his disciples. 这个镜面墙最中间的镜面上画的是耶稣和他的门徒的画像。Panel 也可以指控制台或者是仪表板。例如 the audio system is controlled by the central control panel. 这个音响系统是由中央控制面板来操控的。Thank you so much, Michelle. All right, well, friends, I don't know about you. But I've never been to Lucerne. Actually, I've never been to Switzerland at all. Rebecca,、mm -hmm. have you been to Switzerland? As a matter of fact, I have. We used to live in Switzerland. You did? Yeah, my family, my mom, my dad, my brothers and sisters. We lived in Switzerland for three months, and during that three months, we took a trip to Lucerne, Switzerland. No way! Indeed. So you could have written today's lesson. I could have, but I didn't. Well, I'm、uh, sure you'll have some experiences to share as we go through our lesson today. Of course. Friends, it is Lucerne, Switzerland. We read here a charming city that pleases the eyes and ears. And is that how you felt, Rebecca, when you were in Lucerne? Was it a charming city?、Mm. Did it please the eyes and the ears? Well, what I can remember, yes, it was a very charming city. I will tell you though, I was young.、Mm -hmm. I was only twelve years old when we went, and I wish that I would have appreciated the beauty a lot more then. Ah,、uh, right. But sometimes, as a twelve-year-old, yeah, it's hard to appreciate something like Lucerne. Yeah, you know, sometimes the older you get, the more you appreciate certain things. Like when I was twelve, I, I didn't appreciate art museums like I do now. And the same thing goes with nature. I think I appreciate nature a lot more now than I did when I was a little boy. But we continue here, learning about this beautiful city, both for its nature and for its architecture. We read: Picture yourself standing by a sparkling lake, climbing a mountain, or crossing a medieval covered bridge. And here is just a little glimpse of Lucerne, Switzerland, and this sparkling lake. 
Ooh, it's so beautiful,、mm-hmm. and I love that word sparkling. Yes, yes, sparkling. That means it's、uh, giving off light, little bits of light here and there, right? It's sparkling. What comes to your mind when you think of the word sparkling? When I think of sparkling,、mm-hmm. I think of a dress. You know, one of those dresses that have lots of little glitters or stones on them, gemstones,、mm-hmm. and then when the light hits the stones, they sparkle. Yes. Oh, they sparkle. Well, that's another word, a related word, right? You see the word sparkling in our lesson today, and something might sparkle. For example, those gemstones you mentioned. Maybe some of them are diamonds. I think of diamonds that sparkle. That's right. And those are two fun words I actually really, really like: sparkling and sparkle. Well, let's continue on. So we're learning about this sparkling lake, or this lake that sparkles in the sun. Climbing a mountain or crossing a medieval-covered bridge. You know that word, medieval.、Mm-hmm. That takes me back many years ago. You were around in the medieval times. <laughs> well, no, no. Just my mind goes there. You know, I remember reading all these different books about the medieval times with the knights、mm-hmm. and, and their shining armor. Exactly. It's so、yeah. cool, right? Yes,、yeah, so cool. That's right, friends. Medieval or Zhong Shi Ji. Uh, this was, of course, several hundred years ago. Speaking of medieval times, Rebecca, have you been to that fancy restaurant and performance arena called Medieval Times? <gasps> There's one of those in California. Yes, I always wanted to go to it. And you never guess went. Guess what? I never went. But I was told that everybody dresses in medieval costumes.、Mm-hmm. That's so cool. And then they watch a show that I guess is supposed to represent what happened during、mm-hmm. the medieval times. Exactly. There's horses involved,、oh. knights, kings, and queens. It is pretty cool, friends. If you ever have a chance, I believe I believe there are more than one medieval times、um, arenas or restaurants, but you can go and check it out and get a glimpse or a feel of what it was like to live in the medieval times. Well, let's continue with our lesson.、Mm-hmm. Imagine hearing orchestra music. Float,、uh, float out of an open window, or attending a concert at a fashionable new convention center. Well, hey, there's a word we'd like to talk about. That word, fashionable. Now, this、mm-hmm. word, fashionable, for me, it makes me think of something that is stylish or trendy or popular right now. For example, let's say that someone is wearing a really nice outfit, a very stylish outfit. You could look at them and say, "Wow." You look fashionable today. Wow, that was great! And and, and of course, in our lesson, we have、mm-hmm. a fashionable new convention center. So it's a convention center that maybe looks stylish or trendy, or maybe even futuristic. Right? We continue here. People can experience all of these pleasures in Lucerne, Switzerland, and we read on medieval and modern. How does this begin?、Mm-hmm. Well, we read Lucerne's 14th-century chapel bridge features 17th-century paintings on ceiling panels, which show scenes from the city's history. And the bridge was named after St. Peter's Chapel, a small church that stands nearby. Sounds beautiful. It is beautiful. It looks beautiful. Rebecca, did you visit the chapel bridge, or did you see the chapel bridge? When、oh, you were in Lucerne, we actually did go there. You did? Yeah, we did. Yeah, well, this is a very famous bridge, right? You know, and and、uh, in our lesson, it mentions these seventeenth-century paintings on ceiling panels. I don't have a picture of that, but you did get a glimpse of how beautiful this bridge is from the outside. And it's definitely very pleasing to the eyes, and the sounds are pleasing to the ears.、Hey, speaking of pleasing, let's find out more about this word in the, the info, info cloud. cloud. Hello, friends. Won't you please join us for another exploration of English? That is very polite of you, Ken. Friends, I know you are all familiar with the word "please" used to express polite requests. However, today we'd like to take a look at another definition of "please." Yes, "please" the verb, which means make happy. And there is also the phrase "do as you please," which means Do what you like, or do what will make you happy. Exactly, and you can't please everyone all the time. Means you can't make everyone happy all the time. 
So, Carolyn, if something pleases the eyes and ears, what does that mean? If something pleases the eyes, it means it's pretty or enjoyable to look at. It's like saying it makes the eyes happy. And if something pleases the ears, it means that it's nice to listen to. So, if we talk about a city that is both beautiful to look at and is filled with Beautiful sounds. We can say it pleases the eyes and ears. You know what my ideal place is? One that pleases all the senses. Ah, let me know where it is when you find it. Please, 我们都知道是请，那是当副词用。但 please 还有另一个意思，当动词用，表示使高兴，使欢喜。披头四有一首经典的老歌 ，Please please me， 请取悦我。在这个歌呢，就是把 please 这两个意思都用上了。我们常说 Do as you please， 随你喜欢，就是你高兴就好。另外 ，You can't please everyone all the time， 表示你无法永远都取悦所有的人。如果一样东西能够 please the eyes and ears， 就表示它又美丽。又有好听的声音。Welcome back to Studio Classroom. I'm so glad that you are joining us for our lesson today about Lucerne, Switzerland. This looks like a beautiful place. As you know, I have not been there before, but I would love to go. Just based on the pictures of Lucerne, Switzerland, you see that beautiful sparkling lake, that unique chapel bridge. From the medieval times, what else can we learn about this bridge? Well, let's find out. Lucerne, Switzerland. The chapel bridge is the symbol of Lucerne, but the rest of the old town is also worth exploring. It contains beautifully decorated old buildings, many of which have old paintings on their walls. But not all of Lucerne's architecture is centuries old. The town. Has also become known for modern designs. For example, the Culture and Convention Center (KKL) was designed by French architect Jean Nouvel with a futuristic look. The KKL not only hosts events but also contains an art museum and a concert hall. Okay, 继续我们看 architect 这个名词 ，a r c h i 这个字根有统治的意思，所以 architect 是指建筑师。例如 ，the bridge was designed by a world-renowned architect from England. 这座桥是由一位来自英国、世界闻名的建筑师所设计的。Architect 也可以指创造者或者是设计者。例如 ，Henry was the chief architect of this popular online game. Henry 是这个非常受到欢迎的线上游戏的主要设计者。如果它的字尾加上 u r e architecture 就是指建筑的风格。例如 ，the cathedral is an example of Gothic architecture. 这座大教堂是哥德式建筑的范本。最后，我们看 futuristic 这个形容词。futuristic 是指前卫的或者具有未来感的。例如 ，the futuristic element of this fashion designer's new collection attracted lots of attention. 这个服装设计师新系列中的前卫元素吸引了许多关注。Futuristic 也指时间设定在未来的。例如 ，the story of this futuristic movie was set in the year 2050。这部电影的故事是设定在二零五零年。And now let's get back to our teachers. Thank you, Michelle. Friends, let's continue learning about this chapel bridge here. We read the chapel bridge is the symbol of Lucerne, but the rest of the old town is also worth exploring. Okay, so you see those little words "old town" in this sentence, right? Now, an old town is the old part of a certain town. So, in a lot of cities,、uh, a lot of them are modern. A lot of them have been built up. There are a lot of buildings,、mm-hmm. but a lot of cities have kept part of the town the way it was a long time ago. That is the old town. And of course, hearing those words "old town" reminds me of San Diego, California.、Mm-hmm. They have. An old town, San Diego. It's really nice to go visit. It feels like you're stepping back in time. Yes, it does. And something about this word or these words, "old town." Like、mm-hmm. when Rebecca mentioned "old town, San Diego," if you were to write that out, you would use capital letters "old" or "o" and then "t" for "old town, San Diego." 
But if you're not specifying a place, you can do just like you see in our lesson. Lowercase old and lowercase town. So the rest of old town is worth exploring. It contains beautifully decorated old buildings, many of which have old paintings on their walls. And I just had to find another picture of Lucerne, Switzerland to show you how cool some of these buildings look. I have to tell you, Gabe, mm -hmm. Lucerne is so cute. It's such a cute little city. It's a cute city? It's so cute. Yes, look at those houses. They just looked cute. They're just cute and, yeah. and, and quaint. And very quaint. Yeah. Yes, it makes me want to go back and visit Switzerland someday. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, let's continue learning about Switzerland since we can't really go there right now. We read, but... Not all of Lucerne's architecture is centuries old. The town has also become known for modern designs. So that just means that some of the architecture is old, from old town, but some of the architecture is actually quite modern. That's right, and you see this word architecture here. Actually, there are a couple related words we want to talk about from this section, but architecture refers to buildings or the process of building buildings. For example, I remember going to Kansas City, Kansas mm -hmm. many years ago, and I never really thought that the architecture would really be that nice until I went to visit, and I was amazed. The architecture was actually incredible. Really? It had kind of a, a Mexican feel to it. So, okay, so like the buildings were very unique? There were a lot of different looking buildings? Yeah, they were actually quite unique. Oh, that's very cool. And that's often the idea, friends. If you think that a place's architecture is really cool, it's probably because there are a lot of different things that stand out. It's not all just the same kind of building. Okay, so we already know that some of the architecture is uh, modern, and an example our lesson mentioned is the Culture and Convention Center, also known as the KKL. And this was designed by a French architect by the name of Jean Nouvel. With a futuristic look. Okay, so let's take a look at this word architect. You just learned the word architecture. Of course, the person who is involved in building a building, especially uh, the person who is in charge, is the architect, right? They come up with the different designs. And I know a couple of architect friends and I'm always very impressed. I'm always very amazed at what they're able to do or able to think of. I think it's incredible. Mm -hmm. An incredible skill to be an architect. Well, you also see another interesting word and that is futuristic. The KKL has a futuristic look. What What's that all about? Yeah, well, it kind of makes you think about the way things might look in the future or the way things might feel in the future. For example, Star Wars was created to give us a futuristic feel, the way buildings might look and, and ships, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, outer space, spacecraft, right? But I also think of Shijin, like Shijin Dashi across the street. I think that was built to kind of have a futuristic look as well. Probably. Well, friends, right now it's time for us to challenge ourselves with the SC, SC challenge. challenge. Hey, everyone, it's time for the SC Challenge. And today we have a new player. This is Pauline. Hey, I'm excited to get to be here today. How do you play? Well, it's actually quite simple. I have three questions from today's lesson. I'm going to ask you, and you have to answer the questions. Okay. Don't forget, I, or don't worry, they, they are multiple choice. <laughs> and of course, as I'm asking Pauline these questions, see if you can answer the questions as well. Maybe you will beat me. Maybe, <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> okay, so the first question is, well first, the lesson is all about Switzerland, mm. Lucerne, Switzerland. Beautiful. Yes, have you been there? No, but I would like to. It is a beautiful place. So the first question is, what features 17th century paintings on ceiling panels? Is it A, a 17th century church? Is it B, St. Peter's Church? Is it C, the Chapel Bridge? Or is it D, St. Peter's Bridge? Oh my goodness, I think I my first thought was a church, but I'm... 
Don't know if it's St. Peter. I'm going to go with St. Peter's. St. Peter's Church B, yeah. St. Yes. Peter's Church. Is that your final answer? Yeah. Are you sure? No, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but the correct answer is actually C, the Chapel Bridge. Really? I know. Isn't that surprising? Huh. I was surprised, too, when I learned that important fact. But it's okay. We have two more questions to go. All right. Next one. What is the symbol of Lucerne? A, the chapel bridge. B, a church. C, St. Peter's Bridge. Or is it D, a sky tower? Oh, man. Okay, it was a bridge last time. I'll go with the bridge again. Let's say St. Peter's Bridge. C, St. Peter's Bridge. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's... A, the chapel bridge. Oh, you were my goodness. so close. It was a bridge. It was a bridge. That's okay. right. Okay, last question. If you want to visit Lucerne, what country do you need to go to? A, Germany. B, France. C, Italy. Or D, Switzerland. Oh, I think I'm finally going to get one right. D, Switzerland? That is absolutely right. Good job, Pauline. Well done. Friends, I hope you had fun answering those questions. And thank you for joining us, Pauline. Thank you. Maybe I'll get to come back some, sometime, and I hope to get two right next yes, time. Yes, I think you will. Okay, we'll see you next time. Well, Rebecca, I have to mm -hmm. say I'm a little envious of you because you've been to Lucerne, Switzerland. Hey, no worries. Maybe someday in the very new future, you'll be taking a trip to Lucerne, Switzerland as well. Well, friends, we have more to learn about this incredible city, so join us next time right here on Studio Classroom. Studio Classroom. Yes.